It is important for us to know how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Yeah, so I have uh, an example of a cylinder here. So how can we calculate the area at the surface of this three-dimensional figure? Okay, and if you understand that formula, I'm going to show you to you now. It is fairly simple. Okay, but um, really try to understand. I'm going to I'm going to sketch a cylinder here, and I'm not the best. Uh, drawer as you can see already you see that it's horrible, but okay. I hope you can see that is roughly a cylinder Okay, and I'm gonna grab my cylinder here as well um, I'm just gonna take the inside out first Okay, there we go. So what is at the surface of my cylinder? Well, let's start with these two. Yeah, what kind of a figures are they? Yeah, they are Circles, yeah, so what is the area of a circle? Well, that is pi r squared Pi r squared, but I have how many of them I have two of them so it is two times Pi r squared and that so that will be the top and that will be the bottom and I deliberately emphasize or uh, um, Emphasize on the two times pi r squared why is that? Because do not, um, let's say, confuse this with the circumference of the circle 2 pi r. No, this is pi r squared, but then two of them, so 2 times pi r squared. Yeah? So that will be the top and the bottom of my cylinder. It's important to realize, again, it's 2 times pi r squared, because perhaps in some occasions they say, well, we have, uh, I don't know, this could be a can of baked beans, and they took the lid off. Yeah, so the lid is gone, so now what is the surface area? Well, that would only be 1 times pi r squared. Yeah, so you've got to be quite flexible using those formulas. Okay? But for a solid cone like this, it's 2 times pi r squared. But we still have this curved part, you see that? This curved part. So it's 2 times pi r squared plus, plus something. Okay? Now I want to show you, and you can you can do this at home as well, perhaps with a can of beans yeah, or a can of mice, you can take the label off. Yeah, so what am I going to do? I'm going to open the cylinder now, you see that? So I have like a net, okay? So that is my two times pi r squared, but if you look at that curved surface area, yeah, what kind of a figure is that if I just put it flat down? What is this? Yeah, it's a rectangle. And how do you find the area of a rectangle? Well, that would be yeah, length times width, or if you like, base times height. Okay, now what is the length of this one? Now I'm going back to the cylinder. How long is that one? Well, that is as long as the circumference of my circle. Do we see that? Yeah, so that turns into the circumference of the circle. Okay, so the area of that curved part is 2 pi r times, yeah, so 2 pi r times, and we call this the height, because that is then the perpendicular distance, I should say, between those two bases, yeah, so times the height. So if I look at my um, my horrible sketch over here. It's 2 times pi r squared plus, and where r by the way, yeah, the radius is this line, okay, plus 2 pi r times the height. Okay, so it is really useful to not just say 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, no, to say it's 2 times pi r squared plus 2 pi r times the height, okay? That's gonna give me the surface area of my cylinder, two of those circles, and the curved surface area, which actually, if I would fold it out, is a rectangle, two pi r times the height. I hope that was useful. You're gonna use this in several situations, so make sure that you understand two times pi r squared plus two pi r h. Well done.